Hey everyone, it's ADS Diecast here with another video. And today we're gonna to be looking at 10 uh, older GM vehicles for Matchbox. I know um, I've been doing a ton of Matchbox videos and uh, fair warning, rant incoming. I'm gonna to try to make this quick, but it, it's something that's been bothering me with Diecast. Um, Getting die-cast cars, depending, I guess, what you get, and depending how deep your pockets are, really. Uh, I guess anything's possible if you're rich. Um, but for your normal person who goes peg hunting, whatever, um, it is very difficult to get some cars. Um, because, again, I'm sorry for the rant. Let's just say Ontario, I don't know about the rest of Canada, because I can't say it for the rest of Canada, but specifically Ontario, Canada, we just get screwed over when it comes to diecast. Um, we don't get Johnny Lightning. We don't get Auto Rolls. Um, the stock is quite awful when it comes to restocking. I don't know if it's because of what's going on in the world. Um, when it comes to Matchbox, we don't get anything premium. Super fast. We still have super fast uh, with the Volvo V60. Um, that's been sitting on the pegs for what, three, four years now? Uh, almost every Walmart has that now. Um, uh, green light, you can only really buy at Walmarts or your hobby stores, which are very scarce and nobody cares them new anymore. I can't, I can't find anything new anymore. When it comes to matchbox mixes, once in a blue moon will a matchbox mix show up at a Walmart. Again, we don't even get, we might, if we're lucky, get one or two mixes of moving parts. Super fast, we just don't get anymore. Uh, what is it? Hot Wheels? Uh, we're a couple of mixes behind on main lines, premium stuff. Half of it comes here, half of it just skips Canada for no apparent reason. Um, team transport, I think we're four or five mixes behind. Uh, what else? Yeah, Auto World, Johnny Lightning, we don't get. And then there's M2. We hardly ever see M2 that's new. Um, but yeah, it just it's it's very frustrating trying to find diecast cars when nothing shows up that's new. Um, yeah, but I'm trying to find green light. I've been trying to find Hot Wheels. There's just nothing. There is just nothing. But again, sorry for the rant, but it's very frustrating trying to collect diecast cars when you simply can't find any. It just makes no sense because we're in Ontario, Canada, where my friends live in Niagara Falls. And they can see the other side of the border. So why don't we go get any? I don't know. But anyways, let's start cracking these open. Not waste any time. Boom. We got this Camaro convertible. Catfish Camaro, if you want to call it that. Um, 1999 is the copyright date. Try to do this quick because I don't have a lot of time today and I definitely want to get videos for you guys going. Just gonna zoom in a little bit. Uh, I think this is the first one I have is this tooling, so it'd be nice to have that. 1998 copyright date. Um, yep, suspension. Ooh, a lot of suspension. Uh, nothing on the back, which is kind of unfortunate, but you do pretty good detail on the front. Not a horrible interior either. That's actually pretty detailed. Nice little one dollar model. Put that on the side. We're just working our way up the uh, list here. We got a 70 El Camino. And this kind of goofy yellow color. Uh, 1998 is the copper date. I'm actually curious to know, uh, how is the die cast uh, scene where you are? Um, is it easy to find cars? I know in Europe they got all sorts of different brands and Shuko and Majoretta or Majorette, whatever you want to call it. Um, no suspension. Chrome base. This one's all right. Uh, so yeah, well, like what, uh, how easy is it to find diecast where you are? Because um, for me, it's brutal. Um, also too, when it comes to Hot Wheels, um, the Target Reds, we don't have Target in Canada. So we don't get those. And we don't get Xamax here. Um, we started getting Xamax, but we don't get them. Really, ever. Once in a blue moon. Um, what else? Retro Entertainment. 
they you can't buy those here unless you go to a, a drugstore and even that is once in a while and like good luck um, we got a 71 chevelle ss here uh, from copyright date 2007 I've been trying to hunt for the um, the GT3 Forza, a green one. I'm sure you guys have seen. I, I just can't find it anywhere. And most of the cars, even mainline Hot Wheels, are so difficult to find for me. Uh, maybe I just have bad luck. This one's a very nice example of this tooling. Very clean, chrome base. This one's super nice. I love this. That's got to be one of my favorites in this. Um, list here. Uh, next we got a 57 Corvette. One of my favorite Corvettes. Oh, is that a metal base? No. In red. 1998 cover date. Yeah, I'm trying to do this quick because I can go. I gotta go to um, the cottage um, this weekend. So I want to get this done for you guys. Suspension here. A little bit of detail in the front. Um, not much in terms of detail on the back. Nice chrome base though. Kind of a goofy looking top because it's all one piece, right? And then it's painted on top. That one's not bad. I love this generation of Corvette. Um, next we got a 55 Chevy in blue. Not a bad one. Cover date of 1998. Oh, and that's the other thing, too. I'm just going to keep rambling about, <laughs> about this stuff. Uh, this one's a very nice example, though, uh, with the chrome. Always nice to see the chrome treatment. I uh, don't care much for the Bel Air on this side. Um, black interior, that's a good example of, of this tooling for sure. It's not bad. Uh, shipping from the U.S. Again, we're right across the border. Why is it so expensive? If I go and order, uh, uh, you know trying to think of something uh, a case of auto world or something um it can be expensive right but you're paying 30 40 dollars in shipping it is insane how much money they cost um yeah it's just it's too much uh 70 el camino it's very nice blue uh 2007 copyright date let's see is this the exact same tooling i think it's a little different Thing. Must be retooled. I know it's gonna be hard to see. Mm, 97. Yeah, it's retooled. I can't see it, but 97. Oh no, no, maybe not. It just looks a little. No, I guess it is the same. Hmm. But again, very nice example. This nice blue. Details on the side, nice wheels with the chrome. Kind of stumpy, but not a bad one. Uh, moving on, we got a pretty cool tooling here. This Cadillac Escalade. I think it's the first one I have of this tooling of the older Escalade. Um, these things don't pop up too often. 2007 copyright date. This is pretty cool. It's kind of strange though because it does sag. It's got the cream interior. Nice to see the detail on the front. It is definitely needed on this. Um, and detail on the back. So again, very nice example of this casting. It's got all the details you need. Very nice red paint though. Red metallic. Other than it's sagging a little bit. That's very nice. And where am I going to put this? I'll put you right back there. Why not? we got a couple more to look at and that'll be it. We've got this Corvette ZR1. This is a very cool tooling. I mean all of these are, of course. That's why I bought them. Uh, 2007 copy date again. Love Corvettes. They're one of my favorite sports cars. Beautiful red. Actually, it's almost the same. Almost the exact same color, funny enough. 
Um, ooh. They tampoed the top like a carbon. Look. Huh. That's pretty cool. You couldn't tell that in the package. Um, this is part of the... Yeah, so the engine's part of the interior, but the plastic on top is part of the glass. That's cool. They did a good job on that. Corvette logo there. Um, no taillights, which is strange, but they do have the ZR1 on the back. That's very nice. Yeah, that looks so good. The stance is nice. On the side. Two more to look at. These are the oldest ones for sure. We have a GMC Wrecker in purple. Very old. Uh, from 1995. This is a cool casting. I don't have very many of them. I think they make quite a few. They just don't come up too often. Um, this does move a little bit, but it's probably fragile and I don't want to break it. And that moves. Uh, no suspension. I have an off-road tire. Um, strange that they've always had this fogged out windows. Uh, it's a surprisingly light tooling. It's a lot of plastic to it. This is all plastic. It's purple parts metal, but plastic. No interior, I don't believe. That one's okay. And the last we're going to look at is the one I'm most excited about. This is a brand new tooling for me, but obviously very old. It is the Pontiac Fiero. This is really cool. Very old, uh, 1986. It's a shame to open it, but that's the rule. You gotta open it. You know what? I might keep, I might keep that card because it's so old. I'm gonna keep it with the very old stuff. Check this out. This thing's got a lot of weight to it. Um, it's two, or, yeah, so the bottom red piece is different from the top, but both metal, and this is plastic. Kind of like the Corvette. There was a Corvette tooling that had the same idea. Suspension, my favorite wheels that I love. Um, kind of a wonky looking casting, but still very cool, retro, Fiero. Ooh, it's got like the um, netting. It was like a race car, I guess. No cage in it. That'd be cool. That's yeah, it has a spare or a uh, passenger seat. Oh, so that's it, guys. Ten vintage GM vehicles. What'd you guys think? Let me know uh, which one you like the most, and that's it. And stay tuned for more.